Hello there folks, I'm shooting a short video. In this video I will be showing you how to save your Blackberry if that is if it has been nuked or whatever they call it. You know, people have different terms on how they call it. But yes, today is the fourth of January 2012 and my Bold 9900 which wasn't even two months old has been nuked. So yeah, let's go ahead and see how to fix this. Now keep in mind in many of the forums I see people are saying that it cannot be fixed and this problem has um you have to return it back. Listen, this is not true. You can do this at home and it takes only like five minutes and your phone even though it's dead it would be up and running in a jiffy trust me five minutes that's all what you need and your phone would be up and running you don't need to send it anywhere you don't need to do anything and like if you have let's say you have many people on your blackberry messenger because what happens is that everything gets wiped out right because you're installing a new OS so everything's going to get wiped out but if you have a bold 9900 don't worry that's not going to happen you would have all your contacts still there you would have uh oh wait okay I don't have any phone contacts but I have all my BBN contacts but uh, oh my god crap all my phone contacts have been um wiped out yeah that's really bad but anyways I would get them anyways so let me show you what to do I made this video right now my phone got hanged what happened let me tell you what basically happened what happened was that um last night I put my phone on charge and when I got up today I just left it on charge when I got up today it was just blinking you know the red light was just blinking and nothing was happening it wasn't turning on nothing of that sort I went through all of the forms and everything but no no help whatsoever because most of them say you have to send it back and get a refurbished one or a new one but right now I figured it out you don't need to do any of that. Now let me show you how to save your Blackberry once it's dead and bring it back to life. Now I made a little presentation here on Word documents so let's see what you can do. Step one is make sure you have Blackberry Desktop Manager installed. Now make sure you have this installed. Let's go ahead and check out what it is. It's basically right this year, but if you click on that link, it takes you to blackberry.com where it would have the Blackberry desktop, mes desktop manager. You just have to download it for PC and blah blah blah, and then whatever, and then you're good to go. Make sure you download that first. If you don't have that, it, this is not going to work for you. And then on your PC, now many people have the issue of where exactly is the file that you're going to load. Now let me show you where exactly it is on my PC. Okay, This is for another PC. If I put this in my run, it doesn't work. So let me show you how I find it on my PC. I go to my computer. I go to C, I go to program files times 86. I think this is for Vista. And then I go to common files. And then I go to research in motion. And then I go to app loader. And then here it is loader. Voila. Open it up. And it opens up. Now let's see the next step. Now it has appeared. And then it says click next. So we're just quickly going to click next and now right now it doesn't have anything but right now what you have to do is take your blackberry take out the battery and then connect it through the USB port 
remember the battery must not be inside you must take it out and then as soon as you connect it it should come up here it should say unknown something of that sort it says your unknown USB pin and then once you do that you click next to continue and now when you click next let's go down and see step 5 you should then see a list of applications for your BlackBerry and then hit next and then you will go on your way to get your BlackBerry black to life just don't disconnect anything and now remember once you click like next again like after it comes up and then you click next and then it shows all the applications and then you click next again just make sure you just pop the battery back in as soon as you do that and then when it goes through just don't disconnect anything it takes a few minutes your back blackberry would be wiped out but i guarantee you within three four minutes it would turn on and it would come back now for me also i have this problem and i guess you guys will also have it if you don't if you do not see a list of applications mentioned in the step five and instead you see this message this little bugger right here which I saw like 10 times and then I almost hit my head on the wall the BlackBerry desktop software does not have BlackBerry device software for the device that you have connected to the computer now for this what you have to do is okay you don't have to contact anyone let's just delete this out you must download BlackBerry's operating system for your carrier this is really easy just go to the link that I'm going to provide to you let me just show you how it is it's going to be right in the description below let me click on it and it will open right now and I'll show you what exactly you have to do when you go to the link come on come on yep when you go here you just simply choose your carrier oh, come on man are you sleeping just choose your carrier let's say I'm in Argentina and I use Claro just choose Claro and then the type of BlackBerry you're using and then when you go next you download that software and when you finish downloading the software it would ask for your PC's reboot and then once you do the PC's reboot you listen now you have to be hundred percent sure that it's the software for your carrier because if it's not it's not going to work you're just going to waste your time so make sure you download the exact software for your exact carrier be it Rogers, Bell, Telus, Vodafone, whatever but it has to be the same one and once you finish downloading it your system will reboot and then you can follow the above steps right again and then your Blackberry will be brought back to life and now I hope I cleared this to you you do not need to be send your blackberry back to anywhere to anyone you would lose your contacts if you have them backed up then good for you if not then I'm really sorry but as I mentioned earlier you would have all your email you would emails back and you would have all your BBM messenger contacts all back so that's the best it can do but it revives your blackberry you don't have to go anywhere you can do this at home and i hope that i help please do subscribe to my channel and like this video give it a thumbs up good luck and i will always be here for you guys if you need anything help post a comment below if you need any more questions and i will be placing all of this in the description below so you can easily get it out thank you so much for watching the video and have a terrific day keep your blackberry with you and love it because i love mine too thank you bye, -bye.